Hello and welcome to this Zenworks Configuration Management 2017 Migration video demonstration. In this demonstration, we will be showing steps to migrate a Zenworks 11 SP4 1140 system with two primaries and a single satellite with managed devices to the latest Zenworks 2017 system. The exercise includes running ZDC on the version 11 system then upgrading to version 2017 and activating licenses during that process. Running the ZDC on the 2017 system and reviewing some features. Now some of the activities shown in this video may not pertain to your environment or your environment may require added steps and may take longer. So refer to the documentation to your environment. The Zenworks environment we have currently installed Zone at ZCM 1140 with an internal database and internal certificates. The primary servers are a Windows 2012 R2 standard server with internal database and a SLES 11 SP3 server that's also a primary. The satellite server is a Windows 10 machine. Upgrading to Zenworks 2017 have your licenses available from the customer portal for active components. For instance, if you have the Zenworks Suite, all you need is a Zenworks Suite's license while you're going through that install. If you don't have the Zenworks Suite and you have Zenworks Configuration Management license and maybe some other component license, grab all the active component licenses for the install. We've also downloaded Zenworks Diagnostic Center for 11.4.0 and version 2017. Let's have a look at our current environment. Currently on a Windows 2012 R2 server as our primary with our internal database. And you can see here we're on SLES 11 SP3. We've downloaded the ZDC for both 11.4.0 and 2017 on both servers. Be sure to download the ZDC that pertains to your environment. If you're running Zenworks 11.4.2, download the ZDC for 11.4.2. Now let's look at our Zenworks environment. You can check the documentation for our system requirements for primary servers. If we had a SLES 12, we'd have to make sure we have this particular RPM installed prior to the upgrade. Four gigabytes is minimum. Eight gigabytes recommended for RAM. We currently have four on both of those primary servers. .NET is installed. Firewall settings turned off. Let's check out our Zenworks environment. see that we're currently at 11.4.0 on both primaries. Our suite is not licensed, but we do have component licensing. So we'll be prompted during the Zenworks 2017 migration for these active license components. We currently have administrators configured in different roles. We have locations set up in our zone. We have registration rules and keys. If we go to system updates, we can see that we are currently have downloaded the post 11 SP4 update as if we were going to move to 11.4.1 or 11.4.2 or 11.4.3. But we have chosen to go directly to Zenworks 2017 from Zenworks 11 SP4 or 11.4.0. Let's run through the ZDC process to make sure the file system and the database integrity is intact. On our Windows machine we have a Zenworks directory.
and there are some options that you can use for ZDC. You want to verify the Zenworks database and system files, and then there's also an audit database. So we'll run these separately. These two databases cannot be verified together. We will look in and see what our data file is, ZCM1140. Run ZDC on every primary server to check the system files. In the final report, you may see other things like inconsistencies or mismatches, or missing files, or additional files. So you want to verify that your ZDC is clean before you proceed to your upgrade. Start it on the other primary as well to at least look at the system files. Now that that's complete, let's go ahead and run the audit database from here while we're waiting for the other to complete. The audit database is fairly quick. So you want to check the reports out in the reports directory of the Zenworks Diagnostics. There's a date and timestamp for each time you run ZDC. So the first one is obviously the system files on this primary server. The second one is the audit database. If you go in there, select the index.html, it will bring up the report. This one is done, and it shows the location of where you can find the report right here. To know more about the ZDC reporting, check out the Zenworks Highlights ZDC on the Microfocus YouTube channel. Now that we have verified system requirements, we'll check the upgrade guide. We will review the prerequisites of upgrading the primary servers. The primary server meets all the requirements. We have a backup of the Zenworks database. No high CPU utilization. We have ensured that the server hosting the database is running with an active database. On the Linux, we've already verified our C3PO. They do have Windows Installer 4.5. The ports are free, and we have the ISO. Let's go ahead and kick off the upgrade. For the upgrade, we will be turning off all Zenworks services on all but the first primary server. So let's do that. We'll stop services on this primary server. Now we can go back to our Windows machine and start up the setup. Introduction screen, we'll select Next. We'll accept the license agreement. We have a network warning regarding DNS, and that is currently in this lab environment, and insufficient memory. Again, eight gigabytes is recommended, four gigabytes is required, so we're well within that range. Any system requirements not valid for this upgrade, it would have warned us on this same screen. Is this the first server in the management zone? It is. We will give our credentials for the zone administrator. We have checked ZDC. This is a warning, double checking that your operating system is supported by Zenworks 2017. This is where it prompts us for the 2017 license code. Select Next. It's best to put your license key in so that they won't disable those services. And 
next. We have stopped the services on other primaries and we have taken a complete backup of the Zenworks database and other important data. It'll ask you about the optimization of Zenworks services. We will say yes so that it'll optimize those services. And we're ready to install into the digital air zone. This will take quite a while, so give it some time to upgrade the database schema and files, and then the system files for the Zenworks system, and we should see a completion at the end. And so far that's complete. It's requesting us whether or not we want to restart the system. We'll say yes. It looks like upgrade results are complete without errors, and the system will restart. Go over to the slash machine and we'll start up that primary server install. While the other one was installing, I went ahead and bumped up our memory to eight gigs, which is recommended. If we add this statement to the end of the setup.sh command, we'll get a debug window as it goes along. Continue. Our introduction will select next and next on the license agreement. It shows we have insufficient physical memory. We're right at the bottom of that. For our purposes, we'll be fine. Required is four gigs, so we're well within the boundaries of the recommendations. This is not the first server, so we'll select no here. The primary server we already upgraded. And our ZCC system credentials. We'll leave the optimization turned on. And we're ready to do the install on the second primary server. As the primary servers are upgraded, you can just leave all services on. And if you have multiple primary servers, you'll do this for each one of the additional primary servers in the system. This will take a little while as well. And let's go ahead and log in. Notice the new user interface and branding. The first time in, it'll tell us about the different primary servers that need to be upgraded. ZCM2 slash still has to be upgraded. Next, it'll mention the assignment optimization, which is new in 2017. We'll leave that enabled. And since this is the first time after 11.4.0 that we've done an upgrade, the telemetry came into play in 11.4.1. So we're seeing this for the first time. We will use the defaults on telemetry. If we go over to the configuration, System updates. You see that we have a successful install of the update to Zenworks 2017 for our server. Update is completed. And the second primary is complete. We'll go ahead and do a system status check. It looks like that was a success. Let's go ahead and select done. Okay, let's open up ZCC and see how that is progressing in the ZCC. System updates. We show it's still pending. It's probably rebuilding packages at this point. And it is. So in a few minutes, this will go to successful once it's completed successfully rebuilding the packages. And then we can run ZDC on both of these boxes using the 2017 ZDC can actually do that with the windows right now.
and we'll let this run. Let's see how the Celeste machine is doing. Still rebuilding. Almost there. We can minimize this. We can then do auto refresh and let it refresh in 15 seconds. And there it is successful. Now we're going to want to upgrade our satellite servers. Of course, they have the agent on them with added components for being a satellite. Currently, this particular machine has collection active and content active. And if we view in the Zenworks Control Center, we will see we have collection and content roles set up for this particular device. Let's go back to system updates. We're going to go ahead and deploy to that machine. Before we deploy to any managed device, we do our primaries first, then our satellite, and then we'll do the managed. Now we'll see another deployment pending on one device, which will be our satellite. So if we go back over to the satellite server. To speed things up, we'll do a Zach Zeus refresh. Ever since 11.4, Zenworks Update Services has been removed from the core of the Zenworks Adaptive Agent. Depending on the condition, you can actually do reinstalls of the system update through ZCC. So through a quick task, you can actually select Reset Device, which will stop and restart services on the Manage Device, or Verify Last Update, which will do a reinstall of the last update. Zach Zeus Ref is the same as selecting Check for Updates. You should be seeing an install here momentarily. And the update's coming in. The install is just about complete on the satellite server. We'll wait for it to complete. And it looks like it's complete. Requesting a reboot, as we stated in our deployment, we'll reboot the satellite server. Now we're back up and running. Let's check out our agent. Properties are now technician application. And we can see this satellite has a collection and content role are still active. It's also in the list for servers. Check our system updates, three successful. So we now have a fully upgraded 2017 system. Some best practices and reminders. Be sure to read the documentation and prerequisites for your installed environment. Make sure you have a backup of the database and primary servers before starting, including any TFTP and imaging directories or external content repositories. Run the Zenworks Diagnostic Center both before and after all upgrades. Turn off other primary servers and services. Running the Zenworks 2017 migration, you want to mount the Zenworks 2017 ISO. Do not extract the archived ISOs or zip files you get from the download site, and do not remove older available system updates. Be sure before mounting to verify the integrity of the downloaded ISO file with an MD5 checksum tool and conditionally turn off antivirus and Windows updates. Have Zenworks 2017 suite licenses or Zenworks active component licenses available. After your primary server has been upgraded and rebooted, 
Verify that the system updates shows the upgraded server as a success before proceeding to the next server. After the first primary server shows a successful status, verify all the services are started and run the ZDC for version 2017. Before deploying the Zenworks agent, confirm the migration is successful on all primaries and satellite servers. Make sure that the replication of packages are 100% complete on all the primary servers. And agents on the managed devices are at a minimum of ZCM version 11. And Windows managed devices, be sure .NET 4.5 or later is installed. Again, read the documentation and prerequisites for the installed environment. Some of the documentation can be found on the documentation website. Is a Zenworks 11.4, the Zenworks 2017. There's a Zenworks 2017 migration cookbook, which is TID 7018169. You can also review the 2017 README for any known issues. And for any new features or changes, review the What's New documentation in the Zenworks 2017 library. Some of the product component locations, the customer portal at support.novell.com. You can find product install files, activation codes, registration keys, and can open service requests if necessary. Download and patch finder at download.novell.com. You'll find the product install files, the Zenworks Diagnostic Center versions, and the Zenworks incremental updates and patches. This concludes our Zenworks Configuration Management 2017 Migration video demonstration. Mm -hmm.